Today we have the Elite Force M4 CQB. This is a full metal, well mostly full metal, otherwise really hard ABS plastic, but not full metal, um, M4 platform airsoft gun. It's, I'm just kind of giving you an overview. It's got one huge long Picatinny rail on top, or you can have two separate ones. Two on the side, one on the bottom. Stock is not removable, but it is can go in and out. It's the new M4 style scope. I mean, stock, but not like the traditional high of um, infantry M4 here. It sees, you can see, it's a lot fuller and it's a lot nicer when you can put your chin on it. But it does not have the lanyard mounts or any type of strap. Same kind of moving. I think this is a lot nicer than the other one. And this is where you store the battery, like most guns. This pops down, and you put the battery in. Okay, so that's kind of just the traditional on how it goes. We're going to go with what it comes with. So, it comes with the base gun. Now, this is what I got it at when we got it at the store. The online one is a bit different. The online one, well, for a while you could get um, a stubby hand grip and two... 300 round high cap mags. This one came with one, and that was it. There's no battery or charger. You have to get those separately. It can go from 16 to 24 gigawatts. I can't remember the exact, but it's it's got a variety of range. The hop up is the priming bar. It's got realistic action. It's pretty hifty. It's got the flip flip down, up and down iron sights, so then you can use that if you need to. The mag. It's full metal. Um, it's most like other. It's like other M4 mags. 300 rounds. Fill in the top. And twist at the bottom. It's not like the co same color of the gun because it is a green color, unlike the gun, which is black. It's got its M um, pink muzzle. Otherwise, it is a really nice gun. It's more got to be one of my favorite gun platforms in the entire world. It's got the select firing options. It's got semi-automatic, safe, and auto. And then the rest is practically cosmetic. It's really nice. I prefer the iron sights down, but if I need to aim, I put them up. I am going to think about getting a pinpoint for it, but that's what we're going to be doing next. When I get a pinpoint for it, I didn't get one recently. The trigger is a really hard plastic. Most of the, like, levers and stuff are plastic. The actual gun itself is metal. Full metal barrel. And as the traditional M4, this isn't the infantry M4, I mistake. It does have the different guard here that has these 15 rails. Which I think is funny because why would you need to put anything there? This, the mags, this is a tan one and it's got the priming. This is a spring powered one. Now if we compare... The barrel is a ton longer. The iron sights are permanent. They're not foldable. It does have this with it, with these flip-up iron sights. And these, um, sling mounts. So that's practically the only differences between the M4s. But I prefer the CQB platform, because I think it's a lot nicer. And there's going to be a lot more airsoft stuff coming. So please, check into my channel to find them out. Thanks for watching.